Hey guys, I'm Russell Vane, and welcome back to another episode of The Longest Journey. So where we last left off was that we made it into the next chapter. I think it was chapter 4 that, we're that we just got into, I believe. Let me double check. I do apologize. Um, chapter 3, yeah. So we're getting into chapter 4 just now. Um, the last episode, we kind of saw uh, Cortez get caught by the police i think it was or the cult or the the church the vanguard church but we are also as april get sent back into arcadia apparently uh because of the fact that somehow for some reason uh sent back here due to the journeyman very appropriate though it really should have been the journey woman oh yeah for our character <laughs> it makes sense um but it's kind of strange because we were sleeping and then we got transported here through the closet for some reason, so, yeah. Nah. I'm not about to walk around in a strange city in the middle of the night wearing nothing but this. Yeah, she's not wearing underwear, but she's wearing sleepwear, which is not probably appropriate for moving too much in places. I messed up. I didn't get to see the water. I didn't know the water was actually optional to see. There's something so soothing and poetic about the way the moonlight is reflected on the clean and clear surface of the water. Hmm. Okay. Okay, now we can go in. I just wanted to just, like, scan out as much as I can for everything. Alright. This is the first time being in a uh, place like this, in this game. Uh, they don't look so different from farmers and craftsmen back home. It's a small world. Worlds. Small worlds. Small worlds. It's their first date, I can tell. They're a cute couple. I wonder if romance is different here, or if the rituals are the same as back home. I mean, magic must play some part in it. Uh, I want to move a little bit because I want to see the dancer. I want to see what she has to say about the dancers here. <laughs> They're just moving about, waiting for it. Come on, dancers. I know you guys are coming. Open fires are so enchanting, romantic, and inspiring. Okay. Assorted bottles, herbs, and spices. Oh, there it is. Dancers. They're definitely having fun. Okay, there we go. That looks like a really, really comfortable chair. Okay, let's talk to the lady now. I think she's the only one I can do talk to at the moment. Excuse me. Hello? Hi, hello. Do you work here? <laughs> do I work here, child? I'm the owner. Oh. I own and operate the Journeyman Inn. Uh... You don't look like an inky- oh, that's rude. I'm very sorry, ma'am. Your apology is more than enough for me, child. What may I do for you? Um... Is there a party going on? Is there a party going on? Is there a- oh, child. Do you not know? It is the Feast of the Balance. Have you never taken part in the celebration? Oh! Unfortunately, no. I'm... Not a party person. <laughs> For as long as I can recall, the feast has lasted three whole days and nights, and everyone celebrated openly. But now, this year, there is great concern about the Vanguard and their supporters. Mm. So this year, the Feast of the Balance is celebrated inside behind closed doors and for one night only. Oh. There's still much food and drink. <laughs> and you are welcome to join if you so please. I don't think so. I don't know anybody here. You're not with the Vanguard, are you? Hell no. <laughs> no, I'm from somewhere else. Far away. So it would seem. Well, if you feel up to it, child, you're welcome to join in the celebration. Fair enough. Thanks. But at the same time, the Feast of the Balance was mentioned briefly in some of the earlier parts of this game, so I'm thinking that it might have skipped us forward into the celebration event of that day, um, because the I think the map maker or the map, map the map salesman probably mentioned it, and uh, a few other folks briefly mentioned it like slightly ever. Uh, what's your name? What's your name? Yeah. What's your name? Benrima Salmon. I am the owner and proprietor of this inn. I bought it with money earned through honest trade in the Southlands. Tobacco, wine, slaves. That is where I'm from. 
the Southlands. Huh. I'm April. April Ryan. Well met, April Ryan. Have you come to meet someone, a handsome young suitor, perchance? No. <laughs> no such luck, I'm afraid. I'm here more by accident than anything else. Ah, <laughs> no accident, April. Fate. Fate delivered you here tonight. You are strong in fate, are you not? Maybe, maybe not. I mean, it's a 50 50. Uh, yeah, what does she mean? What do you mean by strong in fate? You shape your own fate, and not the other way around. You are what the dark people call a we. How can you tell? <laughs> I am not only an innkeeper, child. I am a seer, taught by my mother, who was taught by her mother before her. Oh, great. And so it goes back to the dawn of our world. To the dawn of magic. Interesting. Yeah, because I forgot that the, the folks here could kind of cast magic, and some people just prefer not to. But most people probably should, at least to some capacity, uh, use magic in their life, I guess. What's a seer? A seer? Ooh, someone who can tell something about people, about events, about the past and the present and the future, just by looking at you. When I look at you, I see. I see. What? What do you see? <laughs> what do you see? Most people are drawn along by events, by fate, like a carriage after a horse. But some people know how to steer the horse. To change paths at will. You are such a person. But there is more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Come on. <laughs> oh, she just... Okay, whatever. Why do you celebrate the Feast of the Balance? You are a stranger to our customs indeed. The Balance? You do know about the Balance, do you not? Yeah, to some sure. capacity. The balance between magic and science. I know about the balance. The balance of all, child. Everything is in balance. And the Guardian watches over the balance and us. We celebrate the Feast of the Balance to give our thanks to the balance and to the Guardian. If our devotion to the balance falters, if we lose our faith in the Guardian, then we are inviting chaos to destroy us. This is what the Vanguard is doing. Inviting chaos. They are dangerous. Huh. Uh. Yeah, What's what about. What's the Vanguard doing to destroy the balance? They are not doing anything to destroy the balance. But they destroy people's faith in the balance. They speak to the people, telling them how the Sentinel, the Fathers, are holding our world back. And that if we were to use the balance to our advantage, we could return to the old ways, the ways of the ancient earth, before the divide. Vanguard promised the people power and wealth and happiness, but they intend only destruction, death. Huh. Interesting. I mean, at the same time, I just started thinking about this. Like, if the balance is gone between these two worlds, Whichever worlds has the upper hand in has the upper hand in terms of like destroying one another, they can potentially force these people to be enslaved to the other world's people. And that kind of is disgusting, but that's what the reality is, is that when people have power, people will always use it to their own like disadvantage or they use it for their own like pleasure. Um, and not so much as live with it as like an everyday thing because one would always see it as an everyday we're both worlds see it as an everyday thing but if one sees the other being too powerful they try to take control and try to balance it out to accordance to that world and then same goes for the other world vice versa like they're trying to like do the same thing to the other world and it's kind of sad that that's the reality of this is that if that balance is gone there's going to be a very huge war but at the same time of seeing a huge war, it potentially whoever loses out on it will always try to come back for more war, and it becomes an infinite war timeline. <laughs> like it's uh, not to say to 
not to not to say the TM line, but Infinity War basically is what I'm thinking in terms of the name of it with with the the, the whole Marvel Avengers thing. But I mean, besides that, removing that out of the equation, just the fact that these two are almost out of balance is gonna be become problematic for everybody, and that's really gonna suck for everybody, I think. Anyways, let's ask about our future. Tell me more about my future. It is strange. See many paths, but they are all dark. I cannot tell much except that you are strong in fate and strong in the balance. Huh. And you are strong in magic, too. Excuse me? Magic? It can't be right. I'm not. I don't know anything about magic. Indeed. You do not have to know about magic to be strong with magic. If you ever learn how to harvest your talents, you will be a strong artisan. Artisan? Where have you been schooled, child? Have you forgotten your lore? My lore? Yeah, well, I haven't really had much use for my... lore lately. The artisan is the most powerful of magic users. She is able to shape magic and to use it by force of will alone. An artist can use magic shaped by others, molded into new magic, new art. Huh. Interesting. A magician or sorcerer, witch, warlock, can read and write incantations, drawing spells from the power of words. And the alchemist can create magic potions. Uh-huh. He is the least of the four. Anyone with proper education can be an alchemist. Mm. The other three require some form of talent for magic. Okay. Thank you. I am at your service any time, child. So technically... I am afraid I must go take care of my guests now. Enjoy yourself. Thanks, lady, for the background and everything. But technically it means that the... Uh... It technically means that, uh, oh, what the heck? Who's this guy? He looks kind of scarier a little bit. Thank you, April Ryan. Who are you? What? There is no time here, but there soon will be time for you and I. Time enough to be sure. You are speaking to me, April Ryan. We have spoken. What? I don't understand what you're... And how do you know my name? Who are you? Have we not met yet? I was sorry then for confusing you. I will be Abnaxus of the Venar, ambassador to the Irede Council in Marcuria for a time. I think I would have remembered you if we'd met. Who told you my name? You did. Mm. You are saying your name to me, April Ryan. In this moment, you tell me your name. You question why I know your name, and you speak to me the blessings of the balance for my long journey home. Sorry, I really don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm confusing. I'm getting it confused. It's difficult for us too, April Ryan, to understand you. We, the Venar, are not perceiving time like your people. Oh. In this moment, we are everywhere. In this moment, we are nowhere. Huh. But there is a veil. Beyond this veil, we are not seeing, but you have. You will be seeing. You are seeing. What veil? The veil created in chaos, by chaos, with chaos. It is a dark presence in our future, yes? <laughs> He's questioning future. The future. <laughs> a dark veil which hides the things that have been and will be. What's all this got to do with me? It was late. You were tired. We have talked in the morning when you come to visit me. Now you understand everything. Thank you, April Ryan. The blessings of the balance to you too. Wait a minute. Why is he leaving? Just invite me to your home. I will. 
I did. I invite you to my home, April Ryan. My home was in the Marcuria City Green, and you will find it in the morning before chaos came. I am explaining everything, and you understood. Jesus, this guy's making me. It seems I've already accepted your invitation, so I guess I don't have a choice. True, indeed. That is what you said. Good night. You will sleep well. Uh, that is so strange that this guy just walks up and just tells me that I that I that he's already seen me and everything, or talked to me already. Uh, no, not the conversation. I want to see the diary messages that he has to say. Uh, I've seen a lot of strange invitations in my life. Only a month ago, somebody I didn't even follow, know the guy practically well, invited me to his suicide party. <laughs> Don't call it the su- Oh, I cracked my voice. Isn't that a suicide party? What the hell? With a greeting- With a cheerful card reading, Steve's last hurrah. That's so weird. I guess this guy already knows what's going on and everything. And right, now what? Where do I go? I guess I'll, I'll stay go here until tomorrow morning if I can. Oh. I'll stay here until tomorrow morning if I can. Do I just sit I really in a chair? I'm getting tired. I should find somewhere comfortable to sit down, rest my legs for a few minutes. Okay. Uh, let's do that with a com comfortable chair. Oh no, it's. The comfy chair. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sit down. Sit down, April. Sit down. Uh, I'm guessing we're gonna sleep on this comfy chair for like the rest of the night because you get tired and everything. There we go. There's the fade out. Oh, is that Cortez? No, they're gonna experiment Cortez. No. Oh, that's so sad. That is so depressing that they're using Cortez to transport them to this universe or to this world. I love how the owner is just like gonna wake us up here. <laughs> wake up, child. Man, all that music is gone. It's so brief silence. There's like some silence. I'm sorry. I guess I fell asleep. What time is it? It is morning. We need to clean before we open for breakfast, so I had to wake you. Ah. Uh. I slept right through the party? Yep. It seems so. You did not stir even when everyone was leaving. <laughs> oh, well. I feel pretty good considering. You look a little pale, but it's nothing a good porridge won't fix. Oh, okay. Is she actually gonna give me some porridge to eat? Looks like she's grabbing it, right? Oh, I have to like literally like. Nothing but ashes left of the fire now. Hmm. Assorted bottles and spices and herbs. To the back. The back rooms are both empty. Huh. They look empty, and after last night's shindig, that's no wonder. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's Not go. Not to sound rude, but I've had my fill of her for the moment. Oh, so you're just wanting to leave now? Okay, well, that's how it is, I guess. It's the innkeeper. She looks busy. All right. Then I'll just walk out then, I guess. Do you intend to walk about in that outfit, child? It is day, it would not be proper. It's all I have. Come. Yeah. We will find something more suited to a young lady about the city. I like how she notices that my outfit does not fit for, like, public walkings. At least this innkeeper is very nice about it and everything. I would I, I really appreciate the lady's, like, concerns and helpfulness so far. How do I look? Normal. Well, it'll have to do for now. You do not have the most womanly of forms, but I'm certain you will fill out in time. 
with the right diet. Thanks. <laughs> thank you for the clothes, for everything. You will have time aplenty to thank me while you are cleaning plates and cutlery, child. Oh, so I have to actually help her. I'm sorry. Work? Those clothes do not come free, child, nor does a night spent sleeping before the fire. I'm not asking much, only for a helping hand in cleaning. Fair. But I'm supposed to visit somebody in the morning, right? But I mean, hopefully it's early enough where I still, where I, where I can leave still, and leaving it would be still All annoying. Right. Tell me where to start. You can start carrying in the mugs from the back room. Oh wow. Well, yeah, I would like try to do it everything quickly so then I can make up for whatever it is. You did good work for me today, child. More than was required. Here you are. Some coin to help you out. Oh. Thanks. A lot, I guess. And keep the clothes. You seem to have grown into them already. Thanks. I am surprised. Alright, cool. Um, considering that we kind of spent the whole night and everything in here, in the game, so far in this episode... Oh, I can still talk to her. Okay. Excuse me? Yes. Oh, it is you. <laughs> this is like, pretends like I walked away Thank for like you, so long. You're welcome, child. Oh, okay. That was all I get to say for her. I guess all the information I was supposed to talk to her with was already been spoken of in the earlier parts of this episode. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to end it here for now. Um, next episode, let's head out and go meet with... Uh... <sighs> forgot the guy's name already the random dude that just came up to us in the freaking party earlier in this episode uh, or in the middle of this episode um otherwise next episode next episode will be that meeting with the guy and then seeing how we would fix things it looks like cortez is in trouble now and i'm assuming that the vanguards of the i forgot the, what the other world is called <sighs> It's something with a D, right? I can't remember. It was I know I know this one because Arcadia is such an easier name to remember than the other one. I'm I just can't remember what it was called for the other one. But basically, yeah, Cortez being captured and experimented on to kind of create portals for them to get to the other side is so dangerous at this point and it's kind of sad to see that they're doing that to take advantage of him. So we'll be seeing that as uh, that comes up soon, but otherwise let's see what happens next in the next episode. Otherwise, hope you guys have a great, amazing day. We can night your wonder watching this, and that'll be all for today. Roz, hot. Uh -huh.